In my last video, I made something I call the Internet Scanner, which is a temporary name. It's a Unity app which lets you input a link to a web page, for example youtube.com, will scan it and show you all the web pages that youtube.com is connected to through hyperlinks. And those other connected web pages are also scannable, of course. Since this is part 2, I won't go into too much detail about how this works. Instead, I'll go over all the changes I and others have made. So first on the updates list, I added a main menu with some modern art on the side. Also I added a pause menu, but that's not so important. Probably the most important update is something I call color modes. A lot of you have requested that I add a way to color the dots a different color, so this is how I implemented that. The first one I'll cover is color mode by branch. This one works by assigning the root node, in this case the first one to be added, a random color, and each subsequent connection gets that color and slightly mutates it. Because different branches mutate differently, they have a different color. Next is the URL length color mode. The name is pretty self-explanatory. If a node has a really short URL, it's going to be really bright. If a very long one, then almost invisible. This is useful to detect main web pages. For example, youtube.com is like 20 letters and a very short URL. Therefore, it's bright and important. But wikipedia slash article 123 blah 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 is very long and therefore less important. The third one, is scanned, makes already scanned nodes blue, while the rest remain grey. The graph arranges itself with physics. That is pretty laggy. To optimize, nodes who are too far away from the camera don't have physics applied. The in-range color mode just shows you which nodes have physics applied currently. That's it for the color modes. And by the way, it turns out that arranging node graphs like this one with physical forces is more common than I thought. These are called force-directed graphs if you want to research it more. Another change that I made after the previous video came out is that I tweaked the physics a little bit, but it's still broken sometimes. Moving on, someone asked that I add an actual functional tutorial, so I did that. I also added a credits world where I put all the people who helped develop this project. That includes all GitHub contributors and some other stuff. Of course, there have been way more small miscellaneous changes that I don't have time to go over. These include things like small physics optimizations, adding async downloading so there's no massive lag every time a node is scanned, etc. etc. That's the changes part of the video done. Now, three random things that I figured I should go over. One out of three? The project is sometimes called Internet Scanner or also sometimes graph renderer, basically it doesn't have a consistent name. So I thought to ask you, viewers, about how to name this thing. It would be nice if you could suggest some kind of cyberpunk type names in the comments, I'll choose one. Two out of three, previous video kinda blew up. At the time of writing the script, 100k views, usually I get like 200 and got me from 28 subscribers to 4.1k subs. So that's pretty cool. Should I make a discord server or that's unnecessary? And last, 3 out of 3, should I keep working on this project or move on to other ideas? Last video I said that I might add a built-in browser, some way to view websites in-game, and maybe even Steam VR support. The more I think about it, the more difficult they seem to implement.
one way or another, all the project files are available for free on GitHub, along with the Unity build release. Thanks for watching, I'll read all of y'all's comments.